We're the only species on the planet that are meaning seeking. Humans have this need to find meaning in life. And one of these nine whys is what gives your life meaning. And everyone's different, but it's gonna be one of these nine. So I'm gonna go through this list of nine whys and hopefully you guys can pinpoint which one is yours and then you just stay in that alley and you're gonna have so much more energy and you're gonna be so much more fulfilled and your life's gonna feel like it has so much more meaning. Okay, it's quite the intro. Number one, contribute. These people find meaning in life by contributing to a cause bigger than themselves. The weakness for these people though, their obstacle is that they get spread too thin. They can't say no to anything. They say yes to everything. But they find meaning in life by contributing to others or to something that's bigger than themselves. Number two, trust. These people find meaning in life by creating relationships based on trust. The obstacle or the weakness for them is it's hard for them to open up to others and they don't have many relationships. They have a few that are really, really strong and that's where they find meaning in life is by building and having those relationships that are really, really strong on trust. Number three, makes sense. So these people, they take the complicated things and they break it down and make it simple for others. And that's what they do. That's, what they, that's how they find meaning in life. They love that. What's going on? That makes sense. I get that. Okay, cool. So number three, these people find meaning in life by making sense of things. Taking the really complicated, breaking it down, and making it simple for others. Number four, these people find meaning in life. Their why is what we call better way. So they find a better way and they share it. If you're in alignment with... So this, these are the people that they take like... Um, they have something like a process that's going on or a system or a business and they just figure out a better way to do it and they are always looking for a better way to get things done and then they love to share that with other people. Number five, right way. So these people are always looking for a process or a system. They're always looking for like the right way to do something with the right system, the right, the right process, the right step-by-step -step formula. The problem, the, the limitation or the weakness for these people are they can be kind of stubborn and they're always focused on results for the most part. Number six is challenge. These people find meaning in life by challenging the status quo. They like to think outside the box. They like to question authority. If you have someone uh, that's a right way person that likes to find a way to do something and just sticks to that right way and, and that's, how they get, uh, that's how they get things done and they get the results and you have someone that's a, a challenge person that likes to challenge the status quo, those two people are gonna butt heads all the time. So one of the things that he talked about was if you have kids, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to parent your kids differently based on what their why is. If you have a kid that's a challenge kid that finds meaning on challenging the status quo and you have a kid that's a right way kid that just this is the way things are and they just kind of stay in that alley, those two kids are gonna be, need to be parented uh, differently and they're probably gonna be butting heads quite a bit so I thought that was a pretty cool part number seven master these people find meaning in life or their why is to master whatever it is they're gonna master it when they do something they have to master it and so like an example would be someone who uh, loves honey they're probably gonna become a beekeeper and they're gonna make their own honey and they're gonna make the best honey on the planet Number eight, what if you're both, Jenny asks. You can, you can have uh, more than one, but he said typically you have one that's the strongest, and sometimes the second one is your how. So you might have like, this is my why, this is what gives my life meaning, and this is how I do it. So for example, my why is to contribute to others, and my how is by making, helping people make sense of things, by taking the complicated and simplifying it. Number eight, clarify. So these people find meaning in life, their why is to clarify. They'll, they'll say the same things over and over again until someone that they're talking to, they believe that that person is really, really clear on it. And they need things clarified, 
clear, uh, clear for them as well. So they ask a lot of questions. So these kind of people are the ones that ask a ton of questions until they have it really clear. And then they're also the ones that probably repeat themselves over and over until the person they're talking to has it down. And they find meaning out of that. They love clarifying things for people. And the ninth one is simply. So these people find meaning in life and their why is to break down a process to only the mandatory or the necessary, to cut out all the fluff. They love to take a process that's already in place, cut out all the fluff and make it more streamlined and that's their why and that's what they, they find meaning in. Uh, so a couple questions people had were, what's the difference between a better way person but their why is to find a better way. And then uh, a person that's someone who's like simple, that wants like a, fi a simple system, cut the fluff. So a better way person goes and, and finds pieces from other systems and processes and puts it together and makes like a better way. Whereas someone who likes to simplify, they just take the process already in place, kind of cut out the fluff and just make it more streamlined. Um, okay, so. Those are the nine. I'd love for you guys to comment below and just say which one of yours you think, is, which one of those nine you think your why is. Your why is your purpose, is the last thing he said. And there's an infinite number of hows and what's you can do, but you have one why, maybe two of those nine. And if you can figure out what that is, and then whatever your how or your what is, as long as you stay in alignment with your why, with that purpose, you're gonna have so much more energy to do the what and the how. As soon as you, if you are in like, if you're doing something, the how and the what, but you're not in alignment with what your why is, you're gonna eventually run out of energy, it's not gonna be fun anymore and you're gonna give up. So that's why it's so important to really know what your why is of those nine and really stay in that alley. So for example, if you're a contribute person, if your why is to contribute to others, but you're getting caught up in focusing on success club, success club, rank, elite, and you're just focused on the numbers, eventually you're gonna, you're gonna lose that energy because you're not operating from your why. You've lost sight of your why, with the, con the contribution to others, the contributing to something bigger to your, than yourself. That's what gives you life meaning. That's what gives you limitless energy. If you're staying in that alley, then, you'll, then the success club points come because you're gonna have limitless energy.